Welcome to OpenShift CICD with Azure DevOps. Here today we're going to discuss how you can integrate the Azure DevOps pipeline and put your containerized workloads in OpenShift. But why would you do this? Well, with OpenShift you can host containers anywhere, public or private cloud, and with Azure DevOps you can have cloud-based service where you can manage CICD from a central point of view. Azure DevOps is a standard tooling in many enterprises, and OpenShift provides a consistency, portability, an unrivaled level of security for your workloads. So how shall we do it? OpenShift extensions for Azure DevOps is available in the marketplace, and this will help us drive OpenShift to build and deploy our code in containers, as well as promote them across environments. So let's see it in action. So I'm going into my Azure DevOps project here, and I'm going to look at my pipelines I've developed. Up here I've got a build and deploy pipeline, and I am now going to run this pipeline. So this job here is basically waiting to, to execute, but while it's waiting, um, what we're doing here is we have set up a project in OpenShift, and now we're using Azure DevOps to actually drive the commands. So whilst that's running, I can go into my OpenShift cluster and I can see PyTest Dev and I can see what pods are starting to, I can see the build job running here. And this is being triggered by the, the Azure DevOps. And you can also start to see those logs uh, within Azure as well, if you sort of add a, a follow command. So this will run for a minute or so to, to build that container. So now we've got a step where we're actually uh, executing the uh, test command within the pod and outputting it to a file. And then after that test is run, we'll sync that file back into Azure DevOps and then, then publish the results within Azure so we can easily see the test results all from our single pane of glass within Azure. We can now see from the tests, I've had a total of two tests and two tests have passed 100%. So I, I was able to sync back the file and publish the test results. So let's now look at promoting it to production. So I'm going to do the prod deployment and I'm going to run that. So this will now not really rebuild the container. It's going to tag the container that it's okay. So that job is now finished. And we now have a new version of PyTest Calculator in production. So we've seen it in action. In part two, I'll show you how the setup is, is done in OpenShift, how to actually install that OpenShift Azure DevOps extension, and the pipeline setup in Azure. Thank you very much.